analog multiplier. Introduction In signal processing and communication applications, there often occurs a need to multiply two analog signals. Circuits whose output is proportional to product of two analog signals are called as analog multipliers. So let us consider a differential amplifier which consists of two NPN transistors Q1 and Q2 as shown in the diagram. We can write the expression for collector currents as IC1 is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT and IC2 is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT. So difference between the collector currents delta IC is equal to IC1 minus IC2 that is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT minus IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT. So here the term IEE is common, so we can write delta IC is equal to IEE into 1 by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT minus 1 by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT. And it is given that 1 by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT minus 1 by 1 plus e raised to plus vid by vt is equal to tan h of vid by 2 vt. So we can write delta ic is equal to iee into tan h of vid by 2 vt. So if vid by 2 vt is very small compared to 1 then we can approximate tan h of vid by 2 vt as vid by 2 vt. Therefore, we can write delta ic is equal to iee into vid by 2 vt, where iee is the bias current of the emitter coupled pair q1, q2. If IEE is equal to K0 into VI2 minus VBE on, then we can write delta IC is equal to K0 into VI2 minus VBE on into VID by 2VT. So if VID by 2VT is very very small compared to 1, then we can write delta IC is equal to K0 into VID into VI2 minus VBE on divided by 2VT. So now we are going to modify the diagram. A constant current source is connected between emitter of the transistor pair, differential pair and ground. Whose current is controlled by input VI2. So IEE is equal to K0 into VI2 minus VBE on. So delta IC is equal to IEE divided by tan H of VID by 2VT. And if VID by 2VT is very very small compared to 1, then we can approximate tan H of VID by 2VT as VID by 2VT. Then delta IC is equal to IEE into VID by 2 VT. As IEE is equal to K0 into VI2 minus VBE on, we can write delta IC is equal to K0 into 
VI2 minus VBE on into VID by 2BT. If VI2 is much greater than VBE on, then delta IC is proportional to product of VI2 and VID. So delta IC is proportional to product of VI2 and VID if and only if VI2 is greater than VBE on and VID by 2 VT is very small compared to 1. This condition VI2 greater than VBE on is valid only in two quadrants. So this multiplier is known as two quadrant multiplier. So this type of multiplier is not preferred or less preferred in signal processing and communication applications. Four quadrant multiplier, Gilbert multiplier cell, which consists of three differential amplifier pairs. So this is the block diagram of a four quadrant multiplier. And this is the diagram of a four quadrant multiplier, which consists of six transistors and a constant current source. Transistors are labeled as Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and Q5, Q6. In a four quadrant multiplier, the limitation of a two quadrant multiplier is eliminated. Multiplier produces output of all four quadrants of operation. The combination of transistors Q1, Q3 and Q4 multiplies the signal VID and VI2 during first and fourth quadrants. Transistors Q2, Q5 and Q6 multiplies the two signals during second and third quadrants. The collector currents IC1 and IC2 can be written as IC1 is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to minus VI2 by VT and IC2 is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to plus VI2 by VT. The collector currents IC3 is given as IC1 divided by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT and IC4 is given as IC1 divided by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT. Similarly, collector current IC5 is given as IC5 is equal to IC2 divided by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT. IC6 is equal to IC2 divided by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT. So we can write IC3 is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT into 1 plus E raised to minus VI2 by VT. Similarly, we can write IC4 is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT into 1 plus E raised to minus VI2 by VT. IC5 can be written as IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT into 1 plus E raised to plus VI2 by VT. And IC6 is given as IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT into 1 plus E raised to plus VI2 by VT. So delta IC is equal to IC3 5 minus IC4 6. Where IC3 5 is equal to IC3 plus IC5 and IC46 is equal to IC4 plus IC6.
So substituting the value of IC3, IC4, IC5 and IC6, we will get the expression for delta IC. So solving this equation, we will get delta IC is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to minus BID by BT minus IEE divided by 1 plus E raised to plus BID by BT into 1 by 1 plus E raised to minus BI2 by BT minus 1 by 1 plus E raised to plus BI2 by BT. So we will get finally delta IC is equal to IEE into tan H of VID by 2 VT into tan H of VI2 by 2 VT as 1 by 1 plus E raised to minus VID by VT minus 1 by 1 plus E raised to plus VID by VT is equal to tan H of VID by 2 VT and uh, 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus v i 2 by v t minus 1 by 1 plus e raised to plus v i 2 by v t is equal to tan h of v i 2 by 2 v t. If v i d by 2 v t is much smaller than 1, then we can write tan h of v i d by 2 v t is equal to v i d by 2 v t. If V i 2 by 2 V t is much smaller than 1, then we can write tan h of V i 2 by 2 V t is equal to V i 2 by 2 V t. Therefore, delta i c is equal to i e e into V i d by 2 V t into V i 2 by 2 V t. Delta i c is equal to i e e into V i d into V i 2 divided by 4 V t square or delta IC is proportional to VID into VI2. That means delta IC is proportional to product of the two input signals VID and VI2.